guys, welcome to my eight week pregnancy vlog. I'm eight weeks today. Um, I'm in a really excited mood today because we just finished our first prenatal appointment with our midwife. Um, she was over here for about like an hour and a half this afternoon and yeah, so it was just really good like chatting with her and um, I could tell Derek was like really interested in everything and the first visit is the longest because she's got like just the basic stuff to go over like the paperwork and the you know the payment schedule um, for those curious where I live, this particular midwife that I'm using, um, she's a CPM, um, and so she's not a CNM, she's not a nurse, so there's, for anyone who is wondering, um, although I will have two nurses attending my birth, um, one as a doula slash friend slash midwife in training, and then I I've got my mother-in-law too, so, anyways. Mommy, I almost got my towel. Oh, okay. Why don't you try again, okay? Okay. All right. I went to... Uh, and I know, you know, some people just don't agree with home birth or don't support it, and that's totally fine, you know. Whatever you want to, you want to do with your birth is, you know, 100% I support it, and yeah. Um, we are really close to the hospital, even closer than when we lived, where we lived when we had Jack. So if I did need to transfer for any reason for, like, a C-section or whatever, um they would just call ahead and have the OR ready for me and so I would just get in have whatever I needed just ready for me so that's always good to know in case that ever happened um, I'm not foreseeing that happening but you never know um, also let's see yeah so I don't even know where to start she did she gave me um, like our contract oh I was gonna tell you how much it costs us you know it's um Okay, so here's the deal. I applied for insurance back in February um, when Derek and I, you know, knew that we wanted to have another baby. We didn't know when. Um, we just knew that we wanted one. And um, so I applied, and then they um, rejected me and said I was uninsurable. They, like, put all these conditions on my form that I've never been diagnosed with, never had. One of them was, like, they said I had bipolar disorder. Um, I don't know, they just listed a bunch of stuff that had nothing to do with me or my medical record. Um, yeah, so then they said I was insurable, but that it was going to cost us like $950 a month. Like, who can afford that? Not us. So, I don't think anybody could. And even if you could, like, that's still robbery. So, yeah, we use Blue Cross Blue Shield and... Um, so we had this whole like process of getting my medical records and resubmitting and then we sent it to them and then they said that they never got them. Then Derek was going to file a complaint. So all this stuff happened over a series of months and by the time that we actually got my stuff submitted for like the, the third or fourth time or whatever, I was already pregnant. So I am approved. I will be insured as of August 1st. Um, they said that the maternity care, which I don't necessarily need, doesn't go into effect for eight more months. So it's like, I'm hearing that from them, but then there's this whole Obamacare thing that says that services for women, um, at least like prenatal visits and postpartum, um, stuff that has to do with me as a woman, <laughs> um, goes into effect right away. So, you know, we're still going to try to bill some things, and if it doesn't work out that insurance covers anything we're okay with that because we were expecting going into this to pay out of pocket um, it's just how I always kind of thought it worked with home births so the fact that we might get some some money back or some discounts and okay I'll help you come here okay um, it's just not a bonus um so anyways yeah so it's gonna cost us probably around um, just under three thousand dollars and we've already started making payments on that and we were putting money aside anyway so um, some other expenses, hey. I think, I don't know if the anatomy scan at like 20 weeks or so is a pay out of pocket thing. I'm assuming it is probably. So that would probably be like 250 ish. And then birth photographer, placenta encapsulation may have to run a birth tub, but probably won't. Um, but yeah, plenty of time to worry about all that. Either way, we're covered. We've, you know, we, I'm working now when I wasn't last time, so financially we're in a good spot to be able to, you know, do this. 
Um, so yeah, I've got like a contract here that we can go over. Um, she sent me, okay, so she walks, <laughs> she walks to my door this morning, my midwife, and she's got this like giant bag <laughs> of just herbs. And I'm like, oh, my neighbors probably think something's going down here. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're just herbs. She went to our house. She did, you got to meet her. And it's just my herbal, herbal pregnancy blend tea. It's um, nettle leaf, alfalfa leaf, raspberry leaf, red raspberry leaf and oat straw and I'm gonna make like a you know I'm gonna be drinking this daily and it's just to help the uterus tone it's just a really good thing to drink during pregnancy and she um yeah and she said that if Derek and Jack like it they can drink it too it's like one of those really cool things um well, let's see what else is relevant here she gave me a list of pediatricians family practices chiropractors massage, um, just in case I need any of that. Um, it's just her standard referral list. And then she gave me a list of supplements that she recommends. So She did. She brought lots of things for us. She's so nice. Um, and then protein Two ideas. Um, we went over diet a lot, too. Two things, Mommy. Two things. I told her. Two things. Yep, yeah, two things. If we friends. Yeah, you're doing a really good job. I say hi, hi. Yeah, we went over my diet and I told her, you know, right now, um, it's really difficult for me to find things to eat that are, um, don't gross me out, I guess is the casual way to say it. Uh, and that's like one of my, you know, big symptoms of the week is that I'm just very indecisive. Like something will sound good when I pack it for lunch in the morning and then I'll go to open it up throughout the day while I'm at work and I'm just like, oh, at there's no way at school? at school, there's no way I can eat it. And I like had to call Derek when I come like, can you please just bring me something? I'm starving. I've got this leftover and like don't girl. Don't eat it, don't eat it. He wants to tell the story. Um, yeah, so I had to have Derek bring me some Wendy's salad this week, which wasn't even good when he brought it. I feel bad. I went ahead and ate it out of desperation, but. Oh, I don't know what it is about leftovers. It's just not. Yeah, so I've had very hard time with food this week. Food aversion smells are really getting to me. Um, my midwife says that's just the progesterone um, in my body making me really sensitive to everything. Totally normal, as I'm sure you guys know. Um, and it's just, you know, my body maintaining the pregnancy. She did, um, I did ask just because I was curious her to prick my finger and check me for my for anemia and my iron was like 13.6 so she said it was you know good for this stage in pregnancy um, I did one of those pee strips she tested for like pH and protein and blood and like all the stuff that would be in my urine and I like scored perfect out of everything like um, who got it who got it who Kira. Kara mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, um, she did a breast exam, listened to my lungs, let's see what else did she do. Um, she did get her Doppler out and we did, I said she could go ahead and try to look for the heartbeat, but that I wasn't going to be like, um, sorry my face itches today, um, super worried if she didn't find it because it's so early. Um, according to my, my last menstrual period, my, I'm actually due February 27th. Um, but according to what I think is the conception date, because I don't think that I ovulated on 14, day 14, I think it was closer to 17 or 18, but who really knows? Um, so I've got two different due dates kind of arranged there. Bring it to me, please. I'll help you. Okay. Oh, oh, no, you got it. You did it all by yourself. You don't even need help. Um, so yeah, she says that we, she would go with my either, either date. It's not a big deal either way. Um but that she would just put LMP if I wasn't entirely sure on my conception date, which I'm really not because I was on vacation and to be honest with you, not paying that much attention, but I just, it's an estimate anyway. Um, yeah, so she just said that, you know, I'm eight weeks, three days, couldn't hurt to check and see. Um, she said my uterus is still pretty low down, normal at this stage, and um, we didn't hear a heartbeat today, which I was totally fine with. She moved it in one position and she said she thought she heard, she said that 
and this is her word. She said it sounds like that sounds like the placenta, and I was like, oh, okay. Her um, name's Kayla. Sarah with an S. And Jack was here for the midwife appointment. He was um, really, really excited to meet her and really comfortable around her. Well, I was too comfortable, <laughs> like climbing up, like kind of crawling on her. I was like, you might want to sit down, buddy. <laughs> but I she's, don't need any fish. She's used to that kind of thing. Um, so I think that's all for the prenatal stuff now. Oh, she gave us like a packet of DVDs and CDs to just keep until... I'm like six weeks, six weeks postpartum. She said there's some good materials in there to show family members who are maybe like skeptical or worried about home birth. I think probably there will be a couple, um, you know, maybe family members that are unsure about it. Um, and I just, you know, I, I, I'm going to do what I'm going to do because it's my birth and it's my baby. But, you know, I want people to feel comfortable and not worried too. So if there's anything I can do to help ease their fears, I would love to do that. Um, so as far as my notes go, um, I have just been really tired and exhausted. It's weird. I haven't been like, I've been really inconsistent with my symptoms. Like some days I'll feel fine. Like today I feel, you know, pretty normal, normal, whatever normal is anymore. And then, um, can I shoot it? Yeah. Or do you, okay. Oh, you shoot it. Okay. <laughs> At that towel. Oh, fail. Okay, let's try it this way. Sorry guys, this is how it goes when daddy's not here <laughs> and we're <laughs> trying oh, to make one. Oh wait, watch out, I don't want to hit you. Oh, okay. Let um, me try it. Yeah, my symptoms have been really inconsistent. Like one day I will feel normal-ish and some days I will be so tired no matter how much sleep I got the day before because like yesterday, for example, I slept, I went to bed at like 7 on Friday night and then... Um, slept in yesterday and then I ended up taking a nap so it's just like sleep 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 can't get enough of it and um, I went in dad's car and there was a scary thing a scary thing that's cool okay that. um I feel like I'm still bloated I feel like my digestive system is sluggish she actually told me um, my midwife told me that she, when she put her stethoscope over my abdomen that she didn't hear any like digestive sounds and she said it's probably just the progesterone because it's just kind of all sluggish right now. Um, I've also stopped taking all of my vitamins and supplements this week. Well, not all of them. I, I've, I'm down to like a prenatal gummy vitamin, which is really not my first choice, <laughs> but at this point it's just okay. Oh, I would take my Vita caps, my little um, capsules of like superfood and all this other great, really great healthy stuff. And then as they would break in my stomach and digest, I would have like these burps, like seaweed burps. And I'm just like, oh, hell no. Pardon my French, yeah. but no, we're not doing that this week. So <laughs> it's just the sensitivity to taste and smells. So I just couldn't. And she said, that's fine. Like, yeah, sometimes you have to take a break if it means not barfing. So, um, and I've stopped the smooth smooth tea. Somebody said that last week that, um, it's not good to take during pregnancy anyways, which I didn't know because I've got a different tincture that is approved for pregnancy and it's got the same like ingredients. So I was not sure about that, but, um, we got to stop taking it because it's just too gross. Um, I can't get enough ice water. I've been chugging ice water constantly. Um, I don't even keep track of how much anymore. I just make sure that I always have a glass and that I'm always taking sips off it. Um, <clears throat> My skin has been kind of angry, breaking out and stuff. Um, I gave myself a break yesterday. No makeup. Didn't I, I was sleeping all day and it was raining, so like, where do I have to go? So I didn't put anything on anyway, but I just gave it a day to breathe. Doesn't really help. I don't think it's the makeup. It's obviously the hormones, but um, yeah. Um, I also <laughs> have a very sudden aversion to lipstick, which if you know me and you know my makeup collection, like how, how, why? <laughs> um, I just, like, I'll still wear it to work, but I'm like wanting to like rub it off as soon as I put it on because I, the texture, and I like matte lipsticks, which if you don't know, it's like not glossy, it's just completely flat, no shine. Um, I like those kinds, I, I like the way those look, but that, it just feels really waxy and it smells funny. And it's just too close to my nose and too close to my 
tongue for me to like tolerate it right now so I'm just trying to wear like lip balms and um, like right now I think I'm just wearing where is it it's like a it's like a liquid lip balm by Alme and it's really kind of pushing the line on gross factor it's a, it's you know it's a lip balm even though it looks like a gloss but whatever I've got kind of I mean I'll show you guys I'll show you how kind of psychotic my <laughs> collection is here's some of them uh, there's a picture of me and Jack and then there is some more lipstick so and that's just I think some of them but you know that's most of them anyway so well done. for me to be unable to wear any of those is kind of frustrating <laughs> Mood wise, I feel a lot less bummed out this week. I feel like this last week went by fast enough that I was like, okay, it's it's not going by as slow now. I feel like, you know, 10 weeks is in sight and I feel like 10 weeks last time is when I started feeling better um, with Jack. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then I have this picture every morning when I'm like really super sleepy and I'm tired, can you guys see? That's Jack and I, obviously, um, being silly and making faces at school. And I just have it here, <laughs> and it just makes me happy to look at, and it reminds me, um, I don't know, I just, it, seeing, like, the love that I have with Jack and the connection that I have with him makes me feel that much more connected to this baby. Um, I've never really talked about how I feel being, like, a second-time mom, and, um, Maybe I won't get into it because I can see I'm like already 17 minutes. Oh, so, um, but I just feel really like I'm like I'm already a mom. I know what like a huge gift this is this time. Who that? I don't know who that is. And um, I say hi, mom. How are you? And so yeah, I just I don't know. It's hard to explain. I might explain it more next time. Hi, mom. But I feel more optimistic, and I feel like. You know, I really am pregnant, I really am making a baby, this is really happening, and I'm just excited for all of it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's all I got this week, and I will insert a belly shot this, that I took this morning here. So this is the nine-week belly. Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm showing or not. I don't, I don't think I'm showing. I feel like I'm on the brink of showing. Um, I feel like, I also feel like I'm losing weight. My calorie intake probably isn't that great. I haven't been like counting or anything, but I just feel like it's, since it's so difficult for me to find something to eat and I can't eat large portions that I'm probably still losing weight, which whatever, first trimester, it's okay, but it's not something that, it's not something that anyone would like to see like continue throughout the pregnancy. Like at some point it needs to start and you start gaining. So there's that. Um, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, um, leave it below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. What are you doing, mom?